Okay, so I was at this um, Vancouver Mycological Society uh, annual convergence, and um, they had just gone on this foray expedition, and they, all these people came back to the um, to the hall with like all these cool mushrooms they had picked, so we could all look at them and, and learn about them and identify them. And uh, I was like walking down, a lot of them were labeled, and I was like, oh yeah, cool. Oh yeah, there's this competition for like the biggest mushroom. And, uh, oh. and beside it is the competition for the smallest mushroom. Mm -hmm. And the two winners is the biggest and the smallest. Mm -hmm. And I see the biggest there, and I don't see the smallest. And I, uh, I picked up the biggest one to like see if it was underneath, and I put it down. This sniveling nerd comes up beside me and, and says, You crushed the smallest mushroom. <laughs> Story. Um, this is the nicest patch of yellow chanterelles that I've ever found anywhere. Right now, when they're all together, you can really uh, you can really pick up that like specific chanterelle smell. It's sort of hard to describe, but once you've once you uh, once you've got it, you can always recognize it. I feel pretty comfortable identifying it. Sometimes you have to be careful not to get too comfortable. And, and I've never found so many in one place. And so we didn't pick them all. We only picked uh, maybe a quarter of, of this little patch here. And, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to come here next year and around the same time and, and, and pick some more. Anyway, we're taking these as a little gift uh, and to inspire ourselves to, uh, to feel grateful. And uh, I, w I just went around after and I picked up some garbage in this area, which is something I really like to do. It makes me feel good. It gives me hope and that hope um, gives me energy to to further take action. <laughs> oh, don't forget the label. Oh, might as well get this tin can too. I'm picking up for my for the last generation too here. This is like an oldie. So um, I'm helping with my parents' karma too. And uh, here we go. We're gonna pick up trash on this whole canoe trip, and it, it's a great thing to do. And it can, it's empowering, it's really empowering because you can feel so powerless over, over the devastation and the, you know, feeling part of the problem. You can take your, your power away, take your energy and your motivation to lead by example, but in small actions, human scale activism, to inspire others just by, by what we do have control over. That's empowering and that's what I want to inspire people. So easy, yeah, picking up trash, planting a garden in your front yard. Uh, native plants for for um, for butterflies or for other pollinators, moths and hummingbirds and and bees in the city. Whatever you can do, this is how we take back our power. At least it's how I do. It's a beautiful thing though. Don't always have to know what it's called. Yeah, in the summer. Yeah. At least if you're not eating it. Look at this. I like putting them in a hole. The smallest. the secret. All the juice is coming out from them, eh? Because yeah. of the salt. <laughs>